Sinchal continues to be among the worst affected town in the state. And as per locals, the deluge witnessed this time is worst in the past three decades. Now the floods as such have also brought upon untold miseries to people. And on your screen, a woman and her husband can be seen struggling to stay afloat in the heavy flood waters. The visuals are from the Ambikapati area of Silchar, which is heavily flooded. Now, reportedly, the woman jumped into the water to save her husband from drowning. Now, these are visuals that show the extent to which the town of Silchar has been affected by floods and how people are being affected because of it. <laughs> All right, and, and Silchar continues to be among the worst hit affected town in the state. Now, as per locals, the deluge witnessed this time is worst in the past three decades. Now, the floods as such have also brought upon untold miseries to the people. And like you can see on your screen, a woman and her husband are seen struggling to stay afloat in the heavy flood waters. The visuals are from the Ambikapati area of Silchar, which is heavily flooded. And reportedly, the woman had jumped into the water to save her husband from drowning. Now, these are the visuals that show the extent of which the town of Silchar has been affected by floods and how people are being affected because of it. <laughs> Well, joining me on the phone is my colleague Bikram Sarkar. Bikram, well, Silcha continue to reel under the devastation of flood. And what we can see on the visuals of, on the screen are very unfortunate visuals. Tell us the situation at the minute. Any casualties reported so far? Well, Aaron, uh, the situation is getting worse. Each and every hour is passing by. There are many uh, emergencies. There are many, uh, uh, you know, uh, struggle is going on. The picture that we have shown just now is of a woman who tra jumped in uh, without uh, uh, thinking, a second, giving a second thought of her life to save her husband. There is another case at uh, Lakhipur today that uh, two persons who went to see the flood, they are going missing. The NDRF team is in search. That happened at Lakhipur area and uh, Lakhipur constituency. And Aaron, if we have to mention here, the situation is very much critical and worse. The people are struggling. Though all the machineries like uh, NDRF, SDRF, they are working to rescue the people. The CRPF, uh, BSF, Assam Rifle, they are uh, uh, trying to rescue the people. But it is, this condition is vulnerable. No one has ever imagined or ever thought of this kind of water flow inside the town, which, is, which happened due to some negligences or some miscreants. Now, uh, that is not the time to, uh, you know, judge. But the scene is people are not getting water. We are getting calls. Uh, there are no, the numbers which has been provided mm. by the, the administration is not working. It's uh, uh, non-operational, we must say, because many of the people are trying to approach us, like mm. the media uh, fraternity also, because some who knows them, they are asking, they are crying, literally crying. We are getting calls from Guwahati, from Hyderabad, that their people are stuck here in different, different parts of future. There are people who are aged, who cannot move from their place. They didn't got water. There is no electricity. There is no connection. There are people who are staying outside, can't reach to their parents, to their families. You can imagine the situation is pathetic out mm. here, Aaron. All right, well, of course, it is race against time there, Bikram. We know that we understand that rescue operations are underway. However, in terms of relief measures, and especially in terms of the necessity requirements of people, how are we, how are we seeing that unfold? What, what is happening on that front? See, uh, as per the reports that we are getting, many of the people are not satisfied. They are crying. There are some people who are trying, trying to take advantage of the, uh, of the situation. Assam government has given a mm. strong uh, message to all the district administration that the relief should not only be given to only to the people who are in the relief camp, but it should be distributed to those persons who are stranded in their home as because they cannot came, come out. And it is getting uh, impossible to reach out to them to rescue for, but they need to supply. Now you, we can imagine if... 
a person is not getting a single bottle of water, then what is the situation? What will be the situation? Are they getting the food? This is right. a question. So, so you know, Vikram, I'm sorry to cut you short. So tomorrow, the Chief Minister of Assam, Himanta Biswa Sharma, will physically be inspecting and he will be at Silcha to take stock of the situation. What, what information do you have on that front? Yes, sir. Uh, as per the information we have is uh, CN Dr. Himanta Biswa Sharma will be coming to Barak Valley to Silcha at around 2 p.m. He will be uh, visiting some of the flood affected areas and also visit the relief camps. And uh, now we need to see because the situation is uh, very critical out here. He will take stock of the situation and maybe he will uh, go through the entire matter. All right, my colleague there, Bikram Sarkar, joining me from Silcha. Thank you so much for all your details.